Good day everyone. Hope you're doing well. Today we have an article from Inverse.com titled Star Wars 9 Theory Reveals Why Only One Character Can Kill Palpatine. If you like this kind of content, consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, let's move on. Like it or not, the Emperor is back. You can expect to see Sheev Palpatine's wrinkly old face in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Unless this entire marketing campaign is a huge fake out. Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> Anyways, but we still don't know how the Resistance will defeat the Sith Lord once he returns. However, one intriguing new theory identifies a pattern in the way Lucasfilm has retconned the death of the greatest, how galaxy's greatest villains to reveal that the only Jedi who could beat Palpatine in Episode 9. Shared on Reddit in a post titled Obi-Wan vs. Maul can tell us something about the story of Episode 9. This theory makes a compelling argument that even when Star Wars brings a dead Sith back to life, the impact of their original fight remains intact. In other words, even if it turns out Emperor Palpatine didn't die at the end of Return of the Jedi, the narrative payoff of Darth Vader betraying his master won't be undone in The Rise of Skywalker. The evidence? The death, rise, and death of Darth Maul. The Sith Apprentice famously died at the end of Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, only to survive his dismemberment and return to other Star Wars materials, leading to that surprise twist in Solo. Ultimately, Maul dies in a duel with an elderly Obi-Wan Kenobi in the canonical Star Wars cartoon Rebels. So, even if you only watch the core Star Wars movies, your understanding of how Darth Maul dies is still technically correct. Obi-Wan kills him either way. It's just a question of when. What does this mean for the Rise of Skywalker? Well, the basic knowledge, logic, should apply to Palpatine. It's okay if the Emperor didn't actually die in Episode 6, as long as Vader Anakin still gets to kill him in Episode 9. Anything else would undo the impact of the original epic conclusion. Similar to the Obi-Wan and Maul final fight, this rematch can thematically add to the original fight while ensuring the impact of the original fight remains intact. Of course, this whole theory depends on Anakin Skywalker actually showing up in Star Wars 9. So far, Hayden Christensen hasn't been confirmed for a role in the movie, though a few clues do suggest Lucasfilm is hiding a secret cameo. Assuming that he does show up, we also don't know whether it will be as a force ghost or a physical being. The return of Anakin in the flesh seems unlikely, especially since he totally died and became a force ghost at the end of Return of the Jedi. We never actually saw Palpatine's body, but we saw Vader's. Still, you remember, Vader's body was cremated. Still, even if Anakin Skywalker only returns to the Force Ghost, the Rise of Skywalker, maybe his presence alone will be enough to motivate Rey and the Resistance to kill Emperor Palpatine one final time. So what do you think about this? Do you think that the only person who can kill Emperor Palpatine is Vader or Anakin Skywalker? Do you think Anakin Skywalker will actually be in the movie? Whether it's a Force Ghost, physical body or a voiceover. Apparently he has a voiceover in it, but uh, again, that's just rumor. Um, so what do you th guys think? Do you think that uh, he's the only one, or do you think Rey will be the one that destroys Emperor Palpatine? For me, I don't know. I, I don't think Anakin Skywalker is coming back as a physical being. Um, maybe a Force ghost. Um, I'm hoping it's not going to be, um, Ray that destroys him, but, uh, I don't know. Maybe Kylo destroys Emperor Palpatine since he is, uh, you know, Vader's grandson, you know, it is part of the line. So maybe Kylo is the one who kills Emperor Palpatine. Who knows? Anyways. Thanks for watching. Let me know your comments down below and have a great day.